hello everyone welcome back to my channel jp khasi tech so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe now let's start the project first of all let's go to xml so you can go from here layout and then this xml file just open that one and then let's first we are going to create two objects text view and the button now let me say that text view first and the text view i'm gonna give height and weight will drop content okay now I'm gonna give the text size so the text size I'm gonna give 40 SP but let me give the bowl first text size I'm gonna give 40 SP okay. now next I need the ID for the text view so I'm gonna see TV simply now if you want to see how big the text is in 40 SP so you can give the text first and just try this one you see it is a little bigger it's not quite better now let me bring that one in center now let it be in the center and then i want in orientation in vertical because i want arranging in vertically because i need one more button here. now let me create the button so i'm gonna say button height width will be like 14 and then i'm gonna give the text for the button so the text will be random now let me give the ID or text size. Let me give the text size first. It looks a little smaller, so I'm gonna give 30 SP. Now let me give the ID for the tag. I mean button. Now I'm just gonna say button underscore. So it is random. Okay. Now next I'm gonna give the margin because I want this little far from the text view. So I'm just gonna give like margin margin top and then i'm gonna give the margin top as 50 dp okay now it's look good everything is fine just arrange the code Control alt l then just click okay now let me remove this text because i don't need this text and instead i'm gonna give the normal text so it is gp let's see let me go to the java class now because the xml has been finished this is our main activity now let's go to the on create method and then initialize but before initializing we need the variable let's var find the variable first i'm gonna say private and then text view and the name i'm gonna give pp close it now the variable for the button so i'm gonna say it is button but I'm gonna name it in short button uh, just random okay just close it now initialize so I'm gonna take this variable tv copy this one and paste here okay equal now I'm gonna say equal find viva id r dot id dot and the id of the text view is tv okay close this with semicolon now take again the variable of this button Take the variable of button and then paste here now i'm gonna say equal then i'm gonna find the id just find viva id r dot id dot and the id of the button was random okay now next just uh, set the on click method for this button so take this variable and then paste here okay now i'm gonna call it set set on click listener okay now here you have to give new view dot on click on click listener okay this on click listener after this uh, parameter after this parameter you have to put open and close curly bracket then now come back to the on click listener here red and bring this cursor here click alt and then press enter so you will get this pop up and then just implement the method and then click ok so now this is the on click method for the button one now whenever the user will click this button there will be some response with the random code so i'm gonna find the random code first so i'm gonna call random random okay rndm shortcut name of the random equal to new random new random okay now just the context just close this one okay everything done 
now we have to define the integer okay that will be uh, now convert the items into the integer but before that we have to find the item here okay now just go below here below here and then find the string okay we have to create the string over here so i'm gonna say private and it is string and you can give the shortcut name of the string i'm gonna give you item okay now just open and close square bracket now after this you have to give equal after giving equal give open and close angular bracket and then inside the angular bracket we have to find this string so first you give open and close vertical uh, open and close quotation and here i'm gonna say a then next comma and then give again close and open so here i'm gonna say b and next comma again and then here again you give this and here will be c and the next comma and then give again here will be d and the next i'm gonna give comma again open and close again here will be e then next i'm gonna give comma again then open and close again so here i'm gonna give f okay till f i'm gonna go so now just simply just close it with the semicolon now this is the string that we have just defined okay this string is the uh, number of the letter a b c d now whenever the user click so this number item will be randomly display in the text view okay now just convert this item into the integer first so we can do here so first we have to find the integer and then set this item into the integer okay now let's do it integer and the integer is i'm gonna name it i so equal now here we have to take the random okay random variable so they take copy this one and paste here now here i have to find the integer the next integer okay so i'm gonna see the next integer and inside the parameter we have to define the item that we are going to pull okay simply i'm gonna say that item that i'm going to pull is this item okay? so just take this one copy and then paste here inside the parameter okay paste here and you have to take this one as a length so I'm gonna say length now close this one with semicolon everything done we have converted this uh, that list ABCD into the integer okay with the help of random now we have to put this integer in the text whenever the button is clicked so I'm gonna take the variable of the text so it is text view so variable of text view is this one right so I'm gonna simply copy this one or you can write simply copy the variable and paste here so I'm gonna type okay TV. text view dot set text okay inside the set text open and close square bracket and then inside square bracket i have to put that integer that i have converted from the list okay so i'm gonna keep simply here i clear now this is the integer now everything is done now let's run the project and see if it's work Okay guys the apps has run completely now let's see what happen if you will click in random so this is the default text jp khasi take random click so randomly came d now if you will do next randomly d again next e again d f a f d d e e a f d see the text are randomly arrange in the text view whenever the button is clicked so only this for today guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe my channel